the long weekend is officially over and I am back to classes. Over the long weekend, I took a complete break from all things related to school and basically any form of responsibility. So I am just getting back into the groove of things and I thought I would pull out my camera and vlog that process. First thing I had today was an in-person communications class and it was a really great session because I just feel like every single week we build on our communication skills we had a huge final exam for our first course last Friday and we are now going to be starting our new course which is dermatology and the musculoskeletal system. Since we are just getting back into the swing of things, I don't have that much homework or studying to do. So I'm mostly just trying to get caught up with everything else. But I want to take a quick minute to say thank you so much for clicking into today's video and I would like to give a quick shout out. Very recently I got an exciting package from Rose Forever. They very kindly reached out to me and sent me one of their bouquets which let me just say I've been wanting a rose bouquet for our apartment for so long. I just think they're so elegant and I thought that I will quickly take a moment to mention this brand in case any of you guys are interested in decorating your apartment and want a little something new. I picked out a round box. It comes in a very beautiful black velvet case and contains the beautiful preserved roses. So these are real roses that are preserved with natural oils. They last for up to a year. I couldn't believe that these are real roses because they're just so beautifully preserved but you can really tell that they're real just by how lovely they smell. I haven't decided where the final resting place for this is going to be. Right now, I'm keeping it in the main room where we have our decorative bookshelf, but I may also keep it in here just because they're so pretty. So I just wanted to quickly share this brand. I'll make sure to leave a link down below in case you guys want to check them out and order from them. They have various different bouquets and arrangements with all different sorts of colors, so I would highly recommend you check it out. And if you would like to make an order, make sure you use the code the daily mundane 15 for 15 dollars off your order so thank you so much to rose forever for sending me such a lovely gift that's gonna be all from me for now i'm gonna go to class and i will check in with you guys a little bit later is also important for protecting your gums uh, it's antibacterial so patients with this uh, with children syndrome Recently, I've been trying to start my mornings off more slowly, so today I decided to do a 40 minute yoga practice with a focus on back bends and with progression towards wheel pose. It is now almost 7 a.m. and I'm going to take this little time in the morning to check up on my new plant. She's right here. She's beautiful and I decided to name her Betty. I just check up on her every few days and today I'm going to check again to see how dry she is. So we bought this moisture meter and I'm just gonna stick it in a few spots where her roots are and see if she needs a watering. Oh, she seems a little dry. Okay. So she's seeming pretty dry, which is kind of exciting because that means I can finally water her. So this morning I submitted two soap notes for um, the family medicine clinic that I shadowed. Now it is almost time for my first class at 8.30. Today is just going to be a class heavy day. We have classes from 8.30 to 5.30. Um, and I think I'm going to use my lunch break to just do a lot of Anki because I don't want to fall behind this semester. I really want to just stay on top of things. So I have a glass of orange juice with me. And I'm going to start on my first class of the day. And the class is going to be on heritable connective tissue disorders. 
So that's gonna be super interesting. I'm going to log on to Zoom now and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never One more time, one more time I should have told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time it is officially the end of the day. I am finally finished with all of my lectures. It has been a full 8.30 to 5.30 day and I am actually really happy because we did end a little bit early. It's currently 5. So I think I'm gonna go start cooking dinner. I find cooking to be so therapeutic. I think I'm gonna be cooking on my own tonight because my boyfriend's in a work meeting. So I'll probably listen to like a podcast or catch up on some YouTube videos. I think it's just gonna be a great way to de-stress for a little bit. I found a recipe on HelloFresh actually and we have all of the ingredients. So I'm going to be making that tonight. I'll link the recipe down below if you guys wanna check it out. The recipe that I wanna to make tonight is Korean beef bibimbap. I love bibimbap. This one looks super easy. We got some zucchini, mushroom, and carrots in there, so a good amount of vegetables. I'm excited to get started. Here we are again at the end of the day. Right now I'm just preparing for our ethics discussion tomorrow. Our discussion is going to be on end of life issues. So I'm just reading through the document, seeing if there's any readings or prep work that I need to do. Something else that I like to do at the end of the night is just to look through my emails one more time, but also to go through all of my texts and respond to my friends. I found keeping up with my social life to be kind of overwhelming. It's been really hard wanting to be a good friend but also sometimes just not feeling like I have the mental energy to respond or be there for people so one of the ways I've been working on that is setting aside time specifically to just be there for others so I've been taking a break from social media in general and mostly been using it to connect to people who are really close to me in my life so I just thought I would put that out there um, thank you guys so much for your continued support especially during this last week when all hell broke loose and things were super stressful I'm really excited to be back on a regular video schedule I feel like I'm kind of behind so I'm gonna be putting out some new and exciting videos very soon make sure to subscribe for that and and I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what this day in my life looked like. It's been such a fun and exciting week learning all these new things. And yeah, I'm going to keep doing my readings. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Okay, bye!